Welcome to the next video in the search for better health topic. This video is going to be looking at the syllabus.9.4.21, distinguish between infectious and non-infectious disease. So infectious diseases are those that are caused by a pathogen and passed from one person to another. So a little bit later, we'll be looking at what exactly a pathogen is, but a pathogen can be a bacteria, a virus, a fungi, a protozoan, a parasite, or a prion. So some of these you may have heard of before, in particular, the first three, bacteria, viruses, and fungi. You may not have come across the term protozoans, parasites, and prions, but by the end of this unit, you'll know them quite well and the diseases that they cause. So infectious diseases can be passed directly through direct contact with the pathogen. So for example, if you touch a person who is sick, and then touch your mouth, or if you have an open wound and you touch a person who is um, carrying a pathogen, or by inhaling the particles that are released by somebody sneezing or coughing, then that pathogen enters your body and therefore you can then contract the disease and show the symptoms. Infectious diseases can also be passed on indirectly by vectors. So vectors are animals that transmit the disease. So some examples include flies mosquitoes which carry the disease malaria, rats which were known as the uh, transmitters of the disease the black plague, and mice. So usually associated with animals that we think are quite dirty and unclean, if we get bitten by them then they pass those pathogens on to us. So the animal itself isn't causing the disease, it is simply carrying the disease or the pathogen that causes the disease and passes it on to us. Also by touching infected surfaces, such as drinking from um, glasses, using unclean cookware, uh, unclean cutlery, or swimming in a pool that contains E. coli bacteria, then that enters your system and then the numbers of those pathogens get out of control and you end up with that disease yourself. Some examples are smallpox, which thankfully due to the vaccination programs is pretty much eradicated around the world. Measles, whooping cough, which we've heard a lot about in the media lately with whooping cough coming back in because people are refusing to vaccinate their children. Herpes, so cold sores on your mouth are caused by the herpes virus and swine flu, so another disease that was in the media quite a bit recently. So let's compare this to non-infectious diseases. So non-infectious diseases is one that is not caused by a pathogen, and that is the key that you need to remember. Infectious diseases are caused by pathogens. Non-infectious diseases are not caused by pathogens. So sometimes we've used the word contagious and non-contagious or not contagious. We need to get out of the mindset of using that terminology and refer to a, uh, the pathogen in our response to infectious and non-infectious diseases. So non-infectious diseases cannot be passed from one person or an animal to another organism. Now you know I have an asterisk there, which means that obviously there's an exception to this rule. And that is this first type of non-infectious diseases being genetic diseases. So genetic diseases are obviously passed from one generation to another through their genes. So we had a look at genes uh, just recently and we know that we get half from our mother and half from our father. So if our parents, either one of them or both of them, um, have a genetic disorder, there is a chance that we ourselves can have that genetic disorder and then we can pass that on to our offspring. So a couple of examples include colour blindness, where a person can't either can't see colour at all or red-green colour blind, where they can't distinguish red from green. And another one is haemophilia, where a person's unable to, um, or they're missing this clotting factor in their blood. So when they uh, cut themselves, they bleed quite a fair bit because um, we're not, their blood isn't able to form that clot in order to seal the wound. The other, another type of non-infectious diseases is environmental or lifestyle diseases. So these can come about from things like lack of activity, having a poor diet, whether you smoke, whether you drink alcohol, whether you live in areas with high pollution levels. So the environmental side of things is where you live and obviously lifestyle is how you carry out your daily activities. So some examples of environmental or lifestyle diseases are mercury poisoning, 
poisoning, sorry, where um, you consume fish that have grown or lived in uh, water that contains high levels of mercury. Asbestosis, which uh, is an environmental disease where you're exposed to asbestos fibers, which then get into your lungs and cause great difficulty breathing. And skin cancer, where, which obviously is a lifestyle disease where you spend time outside in the sun and the radiation causes mutations within your skin cells and you end up with skin cancer. The last type of uh, non-infectious diseases are our nutritional factors or nutritional diseases, which are the result of either the consumption of too much or not enough of particular vitamins, minerals, or excess consumption of alcohol, etc., or cholesterol, which is the one here. So some examples include scurvy. So scurvy isn't such a uh, prominent disease anymore. It is the lack of vitamin C in your diet. And as you can see, this first image down the bottom here shows the gums of somebody with scurvy. So their gums become really weak and they bleed a lot and their teeth can fall out. Malnutrition obviously is um, by not consuming enough healthy food or water. And then coronary artery disease is the buildup of cholesterol uh, in the arteries, which puts a lot of pressure on your circulatory system. We can also have a combination of these. So cardiovascular disease can be a lifestyle disease and a nutritional disease. So if you lead a very sedentary life where you don't do a lot of physical exercise, but you also eat a lot of fatty food, then you're running the risk of having cardiovascular disease, which also goes with obesity, type two diabetes on the same kind of thing. So you have um, poor lifestyle choices, don't get enough physical exercise, eat food that's high in sugar, can lead to um, you having late onset or type two diabetes. And obviously anorexia is a lifestyle disease that also ties in with our nutritional diseases. Okay, so we've had a look at the difference between infectious and non-infectious. So the big key thing to remember is infectious diseases are caused by a pathogen. Non-infectious diseases are not caused by a pathogen. And we've had a look at a couple of examples of each. And what we will be doing as we move through this course is looking at one of each in particular and doing a little bit of a depth study on those to understand how that disease uh, manifest in a person, what the signs and symptoms, treatment, etc. are. But that brings us to the end of this video, so thank you for watching.